my name is Scott Menzel, and I do a lot of graphic design work. Um, I've been doing it for quite a few years now. I do pictures. It involves everything from my, my graphic layout to web design to my fine art, which is digital painting. Um, so that's why I like to consider myself a, a digital artist. But he said, my art is just really a means to another end, what I really want to do. I said, what, well, what is that? And he said, I want to use my art as inspiration. I want to use my life and my uh, challenges that I've faced, and in conjunction with my art, demonstrate to those who don't feel hope or feel like their barriers are too great, that they can't do it, or well, they can. I'm a, I'm a painter, and I've, tr I've done traditional painting, which I did a lot of watercolor work, and I also drew. But now my main focus is probably, well, it's painting on a computer. Um, I paint, I draw, and I illustrate on a computer. It's my, it's my art box. Um, I use special pens that I have that mimic real life brushes and software that will mimic real life paint. Uh, and this gives me the flexibility that I never had before because with the computer, your palette is as big as a printer. Um, if I want to draw a building or a picture the size of the Empire State Building, if there's a printer that's capable, I can do it now. Um, without the computer, it, I was limited to uh, probably eight and a half by 11. So this gives me a total new freedom and it's a, it's a, it's an amazing tool that can, it, it, the opportunities are endless. It's, it's freedom. Um, when people see me, they tend to be shocked of what I can do. And, and to me, it's great because they're seeing the true me then. Because, you know, usually they see, oh, he's, you know, a guy in a wheelchair. And there's, unfortunately, there's a lot of pre-assumptions. And when they find out this is my art, they're kind of blown away. And it's the person inside, which is really what counts in everybody is. The person inside our bodies are just shells. And I think that's really one of the major factors why I create art. And people seem to enjoy my art. And I get a personal satisfaction from watching people enjoy what I do. My whole life depends upon external help. I, I'm physically, because of my condition, um, I can't really do the basic things. Just even like raising my arm up to itch my eye. I can't do that. My arms are planted under my, my body. Um, I have what's called spinal muscular atrophy. Uh, it's my condition I've had since birth. And uh, it's a condition that it's a, a muscle, well, it, my muscles miss, they don't get the signals, right? And so my muscle growth is kind of stunted. And so my muscles actually over time will degenerate. When did you start getting interested in art? <laughs> uh, good question. <laughs> I think everybody is an artist somewhere inside. It's whatever expresses who you are. You have to listen to yourself and, and see who you really are and find what your passion is. I have several ideas in my head. I'm just trying to choose which one is the best. Yeah, um, Andy, the guy that's been working with me, he met with um, some people from the board downtown. And he said he brought my name during their meeting because they were building a brand new Brown County Mental Health Center. And he thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to do some work for the building. The project is, it's about overcoming obstacles, you know, which is basically what my, my sort of theme is. You know, like you can overcome things in life if you try. It's like a great fit, you know, my, my life plus this this place it seems to connect to each other so yeah it, i'm excited it's a it's a huge project so so they came over they saw my work 
and apparently they loved it. And so they decided to um, take me on as a commissioned artist for the building. And I like to picture it from the blueprints and try to see if I walk in this building, what's gonna look good? And at the same time, it's gotta have a meaning behind it because besides looking pretty, it's, it's gotta have a function.